Hello and welcome. Brenda here from Brenda Tarot Readings with your general tarot and oracle card forecast. Please know that this is a general and that not every single card or the energy they carry may resonate with every single one of you, but some of it will, so run with it and throw the rest out into the universe. I truly at this point want to thank you for your interest and in supporting my channel, for the likes, the clicks, the beautiful comments and the new subscribers coming in. But I also want to put out a shout out to all the people that are becoming members and joining my channel so that they can see extended readings and get perks when they come into the live views. When I go out live and give out free card readings, you will be in the priority list. So up to the front of the queue you will be put. Well, on that note, I want to thank all of you. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please, if you follow anybody that you truly like and they're your favorites, these YouTube creators out here, all you have to do is click the subscribe button and the bell and make it ring and you truly will be showing your support. So on that note, let's see what your forecast has in store for you at this time. All right, my beautiful Virgos, here is your general tarot and oracle card forecast for the week of February the 13th to the 19th, 2023. Starting off with your first card, you do have the card security. And this is all about how you may be needing to set yourself up to feel secure in a situation. If I can get this up here. This is all about knowing that you're safe and protected right now. No matter what is occurring in your life, you're in safe hands. This is about you being able to relax and let go. Once you've taken the measures to protect yourself and those you love, such as making sure everyone has their seatbelt on in a car, or making sure your insurance is paid on time, or replacing the filter in your heating unit, then let it go. If you've been hypervigilant lately, take a break, relax, know that all is well. You can turn it all over to, to the Creator. So this is all about not getting up in your head, not stressing out, uh, dealing with situations and then releasing that energy of frustration, anxiety, or stress. Coming in next, you have, from the Moonology deck, you have Look at the Bigger Picture. This is the full moon in Sagittarius. So you may be dealing with a situation and getting frustrated before you're even there. This is about you taking your time and planning ahead, looking for long-term energy, long-term results, looking for the big picture here, as they say. Uh, don't just get settled in with all the little details. They all are stepping stones to get to that bigger picture, but you need to be thinking big. You know, as I say, think bigger, go home. Look at the bigger picture right now. Even when you're caught up in discussions or conversations with people that could get a little heated, think about the outcome if you pursue this energy going forward. So keep in mind that uh, you're going to see things in much better clarity. I think you're going to be able to set your course and also hone in on, on the bullseye and, and meet, your, meet your deadline as well. Coming in next, you got focus on being positive. Well, you know, this is all about thinking ahead and thinking of the bigger picture and feeling secure and knowing in your mindset that you are. So, um, you know, circumstances that we label, there are circumstances around us that we label as good or bad. And when we choose to focus our awareness on any of those circumstances, we're sending a message out to the karmic universe uh, that will make it stronger. So again, following that law of attraction, thinking about things positively, what we throw out there, we're going to get smacked in the face because it can come back and get us. So we need to be positive. It's hard. I get it at times, but we need to, to realize that we can't focus on the negative and, and uh, because we're only going to attract more negativity to us. So we need to take steps to alter our thinking. And um, maybe you're giving too much energy to situations that are troubling you right now. You know, it's almost as though we're programmed by nature to nurture, to dwell on the negative instead of the positive. We get caught up in our head and we take on those emotions. And it takes practice to alter our reactions and to learn those lessons that it isn't good for us. By po And we really need to continue to focus on being positive. So that's the message here for you. Okay, let's see what we have for your tarot reading. Well, your first card here, which is the bottom of the deck, is the Ten of wands and you struggled hard and you worked hard towards a goal or an event uh, a circumstance and situation in your life and you struggled for it you it felt as though you had the burdens of the world on your back or you had all the work being thrown at you in, in, a, in a big huge pile and you had to deal with it 
and you did but you pushed hard and but you've learned from this you're going to not going to do this again you I mean you've succeeded at it it's over now but you've learned a lesson you're not going to be the beast of burden anymore you're not going to be in one side relationships doing all the work you're not going to take on more work than you can handle you're going to allocate some of those jobs you're going to make your load lighter lighter you're not going to be burdened down anymore because now you're moving in a new beginning tens are the ends of things and brand new beginnings to move forward so commend yourself for the hard work that you did the struggle that you went through but now you it's over you can let that part go and you can go forward now in a much easier way as you traverse this part of your new journey coming in in your first row which could be past tense or the energy coming in behind you or the beginning of the week you have the six of coins you have the ace of cups and you have the Ace of Pentacles. We have two very powerful Aces here. They showed up in another reading as well. So the Ace of Pentacles is usually really good karmic energy, which has to do with, could be uh, receiving money, getting a raise, unexpected windfall. Um, it could be, um, you know, good news about a new job, business if you're opening up, could be very successful. And it's almost as though now you're ready. You know, you may have thought that the grass was greener on the other side of the hedge. Now you're able to go through there and you're able to create that beautiful green new pasture of your own building something and you're going through a growth period but it's almost as like you've worked hard for something and now all of a sudden you're going to see it come in so beautiful card of energy and wonderful uh, material abundance possibly in the amount of money or something like that now the ace of cups comes in hey this is wonderful this is uh you know wonderful emotion coming into you new love uh a, a relationship being taken to the to the next level connecting with something someone rather and the puzzle piece is fitting um you could be getting a commitment from somebody this is beautiful uh love is in the air my beautiful friends Connecting with someone on an emotional level here that's going to help you grow and expand and wants to be in your circle uh, here to be part of that. Now you've got the six of pentacles, or pardon me, the five, and usually fives are cards, you've heard me uh, tell you uh, that number is of challenge, but also the number that says there are resources to resolve those challenges. Now always in the traditional rider weight, there's two people here, and one, she's got her head down, she feels terrible, she, she looks worried, she can't see a way out, and then you've got this guy who's been beat up like hell, he's on crutches. But he's holding his head high and he's got a sight line. He can see something ahead. He can see the light ahead because he sought out the help he needed. He got the crutches that helped him support himself. So this card basically is giving us a message that you need to go through those doors of opportunity. You need to ask for help. You need to go to those powers that be that can assist you, whether it's in banking, money, finances. So you've got banks and you've got financial companies and you've got bookkeepers and you've got accountants you can talk to. Um, if it's something on an emotional level where you feel as though the world is crashing in on you and you feel as though you're left alone out there to deal with things on an emotional level, there's counsel out there. There's therapies, therapists out there that can help you. So the bottom line is don't take on this this energy by yourself my beautiful Virgos know that there's help out there don't be too proud to ask okay because you've got great opportunity coming in here with these two aces you've got brand new beginnings here that can be in relationships and also in financial uh, abundance coming in so know that you can find those resources here in this five of pentacles to relieve yourself of the stress that you're feeling now coming in in the center position which could be in the middle of the week or what you're feeling right now wonderful card nine of cups page of pentacles and the page of cups so very interesting cards so you know you've got earth energy here with the page of pentacles you know um you've got uh, you've got water energy here with the page of cups and you've got the nine of cups so we'll, let's just jump right into the nine of cups nine of cups is wishes fulfilled so this is something on an emotional level knowing that you're going to see success coming into you your cups are filling abundance is flowing uh you know you're going to feel uh happy uh whether it's in relationships or whether it's in finances but definitely wishes fulfilled here finding happiness fulfillment and peace coming in with the page of pentacles you hear about news because both pages are they deliver us messages and this particular page could be coming in with good news about money finances uh maybe you're hearing about a job maybe you're hearing about a resume maybe you're hearing about uh, a promotion you could also be trying to amp, level up and amp up your resume by taking an, a course or a new form of study something that's going to complement but level you up in that income bracket so 
could be going back to school as well. But this is good news about money when this Page of Pentacles shows up. And you have that Ace of Pentacles as well. And you have that Ace of Cups as the Page of Cups comes in. And it could be a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio that enters your life and has a gift of offer. Time, you know, maybe this person is offering you time, uh, you know, uh, support and even affection and love here. They come in, this person could look younger, act younger, be younger than you, or come in with that youthful energy. Uh, makes your life more exciting. Don't be afraid to step out there and pursue this, uh, this connection with this page because they come in on a beautiful beautiful level here and this could be the beginning of taking a relationship to the next level something that you might not have expected okay coming in at the end of the week in the last row and possibly could be the energy coming towards you future energy you got that two of cups you've got the five of wands and you've got the nine of swords so let's jump in with the two of cups two of cups is connection connecting with someone somebody's coming forward here offering you their hand to share in a close relationship, okay? It could be a fond friendship that continues to deepen. It could also be a love affair is moving to the next level of intimacy as well. But it's about mutual love and respect and understanding being developed between two people, you and someone else. Um, maybe you're in a relationship that's had its moments that it needs some healing now. Uh, and it's there will continue to be a commitment in this relationship. So don't walk away from it because there's something here that you're going to share in a healing uh, process. Any difficult when this card shows up between people or groups comes out in a positive resolution here conflicts are going to end and also that you can see them passing a gift back and forth here that's forgiveness that's extending forgiveness here so this card is all about sexual attraction and engagement and kindred spirits and unexpected gifts but sharing those ideas on a wonderful wonderful emotional level with someone now the five shows up again here we had the five of coins and pentacles now you have the five of wands and this is struggle and competition um, picking your battles wisely not getting caught up in other people's drama feeling as though you're being pushed or backed up against the wall so now you have to pick your battles wisely here uh, you might be pushing yourself too hard maybe you're trying to compete with yourself maybe you're trying to express yourself and show yourself out there in the world but remember something don't overdo don't overstress yourself here because when we get into this energy here with with this card we need to realize that you can push yourself to that point of breaking Okay, so I don't want to see you do that. I want you to pick your battles wisely. Remember I talked about finding the resources to uh, resolve issues when we get those number fives? Uh, well, this is a challenge one, okay? So you need to set your priorities here and don't get caught in the middle of anything. This is about dealing with those bothersome details. And it could be at work or it could be in something around your home, uh, getting involved in some sort of a disagreement and a clash of wills as well. But don't allow this to exhaust you. Now, you might have, because here's the Nine of Swords, and that's saying you're losing sleep here. Uh, you're losing, you know, you're, you're worrying about a situation, and you're taking those worries to bed with you. So it's time to let that go. You need to start thinking more positive here, and, and, and let go of any obsessive or negative thoughts that are really keeping you up and, and bothering you. Let go of any guilt, and realize that regret is a wasted emotion. And turn your attention to the amazing possibilities for a new future ahead and leave the past behind, okay? Don't allow yourself to have to be up against sleeplessness and those racing thoughts that are keeping you there. Maybe you're obsessing and worrying that, you know, you're expecting the worst is going to happen. So let it go. Let that go. Because I see beautiful things coming in here for you. Well, my beautiful Virgos, this is your reading for February the 13th and I wish you a great remainder to today and a beautiful optimistic week here to look forward to so continue thinking thoughtful positive energy and throw that out into the universe and watch how it all comes back to you sending you lots of love and many blessings and I'll see you soon my beautiful Virgos